this terrible, I know, is from like all the stress hormones. Too much on a lady. I covered it with makeup yesterday. It made me feel so much better about myself. I never had this when I met the colonel. I like to call him colonel, colonel. Someone tell me how to say that right. Until then, because no one talks to me right now, I say colonel. Anyways, when I met, didn't formally meet, but came into contact with colonel, he was colonel at the time. Um, my skin was clear. So there's someone who can testify to all these things I say, right? I'm not totally alone in this, I know. But out there with those two dirty cops, I was. And they ran that whole spiel on me. It was pointless after she indicted herself. Um. All right. I don't know what's going on in that kitchen. When I went in there, it was all dark and the door was closed. And it smells like this mad chemical. This is so fucking disgusting here. All right. And, um basically what I've gathered is these people have mental health issues. I've always said that. Um, there's a gang of them here with serious mental health issues. Um, so today I don't got to go back out there. Um, now that I can think of right now, my memory is pretty bad from stress, but I did the sanitary stuff in my quarters here. And, um, so, yeah, you know, um, you just can't have that. You can't be laughing at all these kind of people, but I see it differently. It's probably because I'm like a feminine side where well, they're really mental here. They're crazy as a, as a cuckoo clock. Um, and so, um. I just got to see what I say, you know, or say what I see or whatever. I'm sorry, people, bear with me. Um, no, there's no Thanksgiving here today. That's just out of the question. That kitchen was so the fuck disgusting. I literally got sick to my stomach even being in there. I don't know how long that bitch's uh, turkey has been sitting there like that. This fuck so creepy here. Oh, my God. That's okay. I'm up in here, man. I'm all right. Um... I had something I wanted to share on video, but I do forget. It's something that has to do directly with the stress I've been under. I forgot. So I've kind of learned to roll with it. Like, I don't remember. It's bad. It does. It did even get... get as soon as I went back up to Philly, back to Philly, my memory started to get better up there. It has something that's directly linked to being under a lot of stress at the moment. Um... I can say I've learned it from li from living it and my words get choppy and it's just too much all the time here, too much. And the sirens have been screaming. They finally stopped about within the last hour. I remember I declared out here, you know, to myself in the room, I said, God damn, they're ruining everybody's Thanksgiving here. I said that for Radom because it's just shocking to me. Like this, finally they f fucking stopped calling 911, man. It went all night. I went to bed. And they kept waking me up. And I woke up finally. I heard the last one at 6 a.m. I saw it was twilight. I was like, you know, you're kind of up now. You had about six hours. I think I went to bed at midnight. It's just so fucking creepy here. A whole shebang. I was like, just get up, dude. I didn't take a nap anytime I want today. I'm not cooking no Thanksgiving. This is fucked up, the sirens here. Um... Yep. And um, I don't know my point. I, I wish I did. It was kind of like a smart, cool point, but I forgot it. And it's because of that pressure and stress of living. As soon as I fucking get into D.C., it's insane here, dude. I, when I was up there, it just it was just so much, whatever the word, that I, I, I was remembering my vocabulary already. I wasn't even up there for what half the day. Yeah, it'll make a big difference. And I am getting myself up there. I only do so much. You know, I'm a woman on my own here. Uh, it's not because people want it like that. I know that. This is really serious business what's going on, all right? And I understand that, too. So um, they're on the stairs now, you know? This is really creepy. They're really fucking high in here. 
all right um so yeah i don't remember my point that is too bad today is french chicken uh, i got some leftover to the mushrooms that's a real good one to make it's really easy to make this would be nice for me i want to use up my white wine so i got just enough for that and i, I got instead of my mashed potatoes from scratch i got this uh powdered i never normally do that but you know what with this threat of looming nuclear war like dude the last thing i want is new york to get hit i'm trying to move to philly what do you think my actions are saying and yesterday i am so pivoting but yesterday i said fuck it if they hit and i'm in philly because i'm going there one way or another i'm gonna stay right here with everybody and we're gonna get through this together that's where I see Jesus is taking me. I'm going to stay right there with everybody. We're going to get through this together. All right? We can get through this together. Back to the powdered potatoes. So I put these potatoes that are powdered. That's like what granny and grandpa use, you know? Like your granny and grandpa feed you that. Like powdered potatoes. Thank you, grandma. Right, now, so I'm going to do that with my French chicken. Um, wow. I can't believe this shit either. But, yeah. So I am getting out of here. I'm going to live through this house, all right? And if I have to, I'm going to call 911. We'll see what the next round of fucking dirty cops say. Or if they'll try to bullshit again. Why are you saying some real cops this time? The last thing they'll do is probably have real cops come here because they'll come straight up here and ask this guy why he's approaching vehicles, who is he, and why he in the house. And we hear that there's drug deals and blah, 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 blah. They'll do some actual cop stuff. Right. And you saw the property value around here. No, some things just don't fly, yo. All right. I mean, you'd be at the uh, community board, right, talking to your city council, irate and livid. But no, see, it's not the game here. And this is how it just all shows. It compiles and it shows because there's no play parks. This is fucking highly suspicious, all of this. No, it says a lot. Go in any other affluent neighborhoods. It says, it screams everything, what's going really on here. They were setting it up for a narco state, Trump, uh, Pence, uh, one of them, Harris is vying for it. I'm going to be the dictatorist. Harris, you're not going to be shit except imprisoned for trying to overthrow your government. With goddamn Saudi Arabia and Iran, you fucking bitch. Trying to cut my head off in here. An allegation? You're a rich lady trying to cut off my head? Yeah, because I threaten you. And I don't, for all her little secret service who was slaves of Satan, I don't ever threaten. I threaten by my philosophy. My philosophy that I live by threatens these fascists. May I be clear. I go against their fascist ideology of murdering women and children and empowering neo-Nazis and empowering caliphate Islamists. I stand and I speak very loudly against that. So that's why I allege that Harris wanted to cut my head off. This house went all wrong. This one up there laughs at everybody, hallucinating on fucking laced drugs. Yep. Lace drugs. I said mescaline. Maybe it's PCP. I don't know. You have to ask the chemist that shit. But there's something that makes them fucking hallucinate big time. So maybe here. It's a nice day. This house is so hot now with the bullshit they did. I don't need no heaters. Nope. This hot. It's horrible. And I'm going to get up there to Philly and I'll be a lot better. Oh my God. <sighs> just take it one day at a time i shouldn't be in isolation forever it's obvious it's very suspect that wherever i go i'm always alone to, come on man but I don't see that really playing it out in philly just the time i was up there the conversations it wasn't a lot but i engaged with people on a verbal level dude the people want to talk to me in philly they're not afraid of me they're not afraid of anything that i've ever said online who I am, I'm very known, it's no question about who I am and all this stuff. I, I got to kind of fly through that because I'm too tired to go down the explanation here. 
I, I wouldn't mind, but I just can't do it here. This is a very bad place I'm in. Um, and they seem to not want to reject and, and go after me and stuff in Philly. It's a nice town because I, I see, I do think, right? I ain't that bad, man. I'm just not for child rape. I'm just not for the gang rape on chicks and let's screw up the ass too. Yeah, ha, ha, ha. I'm just not for some things, man. I think in Philly, they might agree with maybe some things I fucking stand for. Hmm. Cops aren't so bad then, right? We don't want your kids getting raped, right? So I think in Philly, they, they, they see that. Um, and I think they might have the ears opened enough in Philly. Uh, it's New York's fucking toast, dude. We know that. It's really sad what happened there. I think they might have their ears open enough in Philly to know what I've been saying. Dude, the KKK cops are amongst their ranks. You're watching it in real time here. The ones that run DC are all white. It's dangerous as hell. But the one dangerous one, I hit him right, he's at the fourth precinct. I allege this. I hand that all over to the alphabets. It's really their department, okay? I'm glad I did this. I'm just chatting on video. I'm glad I did this right out of college. I did it. I certainly did. Um, and for a, a few different reasons, I've decided, I think I'm going to go back to what I was doing when I was literally a teenager and into my early years, all my life actually, and open a restaurant. Oh, it's definitely Michelin or Zaga. It'll be Michelin. It'll be oh, Heidi. I like to be humble. It'll be Michelin. It won't because it's just where it's going to end up. But it won't be um, like the French. And I can't do all explaining because my brain here is just uh, is nothing. I'm not trying to be mean. I just I don't have the capacity here to do it. Some Michelin restaurants are um, crazy, crazy nice, and some are like pooh, don't forget them. Um, but I don't want money to be behind my food. So that's where the extraterrestrial comes in. It's just in my genes or something. I can't do that. So I'm really hoping that some things change. But I would like to have a restaurant because... So I'll just let life show me, okay? Because um, people who can cook that well is a skill. It's, it's a trade. It's a beautiful uh, blah, blah, blah. I just can't do this. I can't. It's because of where I live. But... And you do want to join that restaurant. You want to take your kids and everybody from the town wants to go every now and then to that restaurant. This is beautiful. And I found that after all this, I was going to get a lot of grief. Hell bet since I was 16. But when you enter, enter into this and being the person I am, and I'm not saying this is black and white, everyone's this way. But in my life journey, after I entered into all this, and I saw tyranny and I saw despots and they tried to take over our country and they imprisoned me in this weird way in my own country. And they had turned all these millions of Americans into fucking uh, whatever the word. Uh, I, I think I'm just going to open a restaurant. I think I got to chill. I just can't see anything else right now while I'm still in the situation. I could possibly even go into. I'm so beat, dude. So that brings me back to Philly. I noticed people were talking to me there. Like, wh there's nothing wrong with talking to me, but I've been um, in their territories. Obviously, Illinois, California. I went to England's clearly the territories, dude. Uh, white white nationalist Al Qaeda was trying to, yeah, and that falls into the military. And I know that. I know that ever since New York. This is serious business. This house isn't just about fucking drugs. Oh no. This is so fucking serious. That's why I just I just keep tweeting. I just keep telling the general, tell him, tell him, tell him, man. Just your job is to tell him what's going on. It's this. This is what prompted me to film. That's ironic that my chatting reminded me. It came to me. That's beautiful. So remember when I was walking past all those Mexican construction guys, less than a block away from this house. What these people are doing here is the same thing. They're street criminals. Okay, that's 
If you want my opinion, I don't think the planet needs them on the planet. But that's how they're going to be. They're going to be like that inside the correction field still. And they're going to be like that outside. To everybody. Um, no matter what crime they have committed. No matter if they're putting heads in pots. Cutting, decapitating women's heads off. And dissolving it. They're going to laugh. Those fucking Mexican guys were no different. Okay, I know what I know when I see what I know. I'm old enough and been on the planet long enough to know what I'm talking about. All right? DC is really concentrated with extremely dangerous people who have had their fun for too long. All right? That's why it keeps falling in the military. I knew that in New York. I was surprised it happened in DC. It hasn't, as far as where I am, I've been, DC and New York are the worst, in my opinion. California, the whole state, is like the population thing I talk about. And Chicago was something I quite don't understand, which really falls into with the military stuff, because I'm always hitting stuff there that would really fall into their department. Because when I was there, it wasn't so much the people I was experiencing, except that fucking house that I was in, the building. But I can't do with this right now. I'm too exhausted. They know what I'm saying, and thank God they do, because I just can't do this right now. I would love to share it and make sense of it on the public spectrum, but I, I just can't right now where I'm at. Try me another day. But it's really concentrated here and really bad. These kind of people have had their fun. They're here. They're less than a block away down there, okay? Uh, I was walking past that house, and there was an African-American guy and an Arabic-looking woman who wanted to act all kinds of beast-like on the sidewalk again. No matter what, I fucking lived through. And then my guidance was, bam, you're in a neighborhood ridden with drug dealers. Okay, this is how it's going to be for you here. And it made sense because, okay, I'm leaving the stash house. They might, uh, might have everything I documented. What do you think? What do you think I'm smelling? What do you think I'm hearing? But we have to play legalese. They possibly killed a chick upstairs. All right. We've heard them doing drug deals. So I'm in a stash house like that. This is gone fucking to the abyss and violent. Yep. And then I go less than the block down the street. And there's a whole bunch of private construction Mexicans that are just like ready to suck my blood as I'm walking down the sidewalk, public property past them. They're just staring me down. They're saying things in Spanish. They're staring me down more as they say things in Spanish. Their necks are turning. There's four of them that behaved like that. Really fucking disgusting. And then I pass that and there's two more coming my way. That woman and that man. Like, where am I? That's what I mean. This city's too concentrated. There's really fucking bad news here. That falls in the military, dude. Okay, because you know Mexico and Al-Qaeda hooked up a long time ago. This is serious fucking business here. All right? Um, but the thing is, they fail to realize, is I my job is to report it all. Just tell the general. Tell all his people. Tell Adam Schiff. Tell Biden. Tell. Talk. Tweet. Tweet. Report. This is part of what I've done. I didn't realize it. All right? Tell them. Tell the Al-Qaeda motherfuckers they're involved with here. Tell the goddamn dirty cops this, that she's laughing at all of you. She can't help herself while she smokes your laced drugs. Was it worth protecting the house last night and then darting yourself over that? Why don't you tell the general your opinion on that? Because I don't want to hear any more. I'm opening a restaurant. I think I will. I think I will. I meant that, right? Cops and vets eat for free. I don't, I just can't charge for it. I just can't charge for my food. But I got to make some money, right? But what is, why do we have money? Why do we have money? And some of these things, I'm just never going to see it like that. And America is going to lose all that superpower money. They already have right now. They already have right now. The food lines like out the door. What you need to learn with these food lines is to grow your own food. And come on, I'm I'm asking you to read in between the lines because you should be capable of that. You know your capitalism little society here has gone to the birds. You need to start thinking of how to survive. And when you do, you'll have a better economy. You have a better society. And I would like to help. I would like to help. Me opening a restaurant and charging for food is not a solution to the problem. But I need to 
do something like that. So I'm trying to let life show me where this is going. Because tell you now, I don't want to do any more of this war stuff. This has changed me personally. Um, it's not like it changes everybody. I gotta charge this one. But it changed me, all right? I never saw it coming. I thought I was gonna get a law degree. A lot of things just, whoa. So I don't really know where life takes me. And I had to accept that. I know I'm not thrilled about that. Uh, I would, uh, uh, no. No, because I like to feel like I have control over my life. But look, if I can rid my life of the negative stuff that should not be afflicting it and gain control over my life, but accept that maybe God had something planned I never saw, right? Then I'll go with it. But I can't see it right now because I'm afflicted too much with this negative tyrannical despot rule. And I'm hearing fucking crackheads laughing about possibly some really violent crimes. And it's irking me. I know that um, as soon as we clean the country up, there won't be a lot of um, this type of violence occurring. People getting run over on roads by everybody like it's a third world country. There won't be a KKK writing letters to people. There just won't be, okay? It's going to be a lot better. So, I know that. My restaurant idea might fit, fit well. Because they could use me in the police departments. So I know that. I'm, I, got, I, got, I got some skills. But I don't think I'll be needed. I do strongly believe things are going to change a lot in our country. So I do. Anyways, I know I'm rambling because I'm spending Thanksgiving again by myself in a really dangerous house. I didn't realize last year how dangerous it was. The white one was making it like that. And my guidance is that landlord about a week after I moved in, they were on top of him. He kept going back and forth from wanting to betray his country. Because setting someone up like me is basically committing treason. And stop coming to my house and saying I'm insane for making statements like that. You know it is. You're an adult. In one way or another, that's basically what it is. You know, oh, and they make me want to argue my case and defend myself and explain it. Explain why I do what I do. Why I'm saying that. You just lay off. You're the sickest fucks out there. Everybody hates you. Lay off. Lay off. Come get your bitch upstairs who's so high she can't leave her house. Come fucking get her. Lay off me. She's laughing at you. It's a blue sky today. It's really pretty. I have my window open. My cats are safe and healthy. I'm safe. Took a bath. I cleaned. It's cleaned. I like to be clean here. I'm going to get the face fixed. This is atrocious. I've never had this kind of, whoa, fire face. It's terrible. Um, that's what I know. Make French chicken. I might not get a text message today. I, I know that. I already said Thanksgiving stuff yesterday. I might just sit here. That's why it's just a little bit too weird now. I just say, where did everybody go that I used to know? Don't know. They're just all gone. Okay, then. All right. Well, I'm going to get out of this situation somehow, and I'm going to open up a restaurant. Right? That sounds good. I could do that. I mean, I just don't have it in me to go back to fucking school. I would like to. Maybe some online. I like to learn. I like to write. I like to do these things. But I just don't. I just can't. I'm so disgusted. So much has been robbed and raped and, and, and robbed from me. Do I really have it in me to keep going back to school? I have an associate, so I'm six credits shy. Or should I just alter my course of my destiny completely? It's up to God. God has control of my destiny anyways. I'm just going to keep walking with him. He kept me alive to this house. I knew when to go in and out of my room. 
that I'm not playing games anymore with dirty fucking cops, all right? This place is the fuck dangerous. Not anymore. They need help with that. They're too fucking high here, but they're violent tendencies. You don't want to play with people like that. This guy last night coming up on cars, coming up on fucking cabs. There was nothing wrong with where the cab was, okay? I And he went real fast. And he was right there at the door, right by the fucking window, talking like that. You, la, 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 Quiet. You couldn't really hear what he was saying if you were too far away. The cab driver was so scared, dude. That guy was like, ha, ha, ha. I don't think the cab driver's been robbed before. And that cab driver, no matter how fucking rude he was to me, thinking he's fucking jihad, doesn't deserve to be robbed. He deserves to get a strong talking to. And stop fucking uh, supporting these fucking jihads that you think are so cool. All right? Because I hope you learned a lesson last night. Because then I'm in the car behind him. He was so fucking glad I was in that back seat. That fucking cab driver was. He knows what I'm about. Yeah, he was glad. And he saw how I was in the car. And I rolled the window down. And I said from the car, who are you? What is your name? And what are you doing on my porch? He saw all that. I said it from inside the car. The fucking gangbanger sat there on his phone, looked at me, looked down, just ignored me. He walked away from my car and then we pulled up and he was on the porch, this fucking dude. That cab driver was scared as fuck of this guy, dude. Where'd you be? You saw some fucking dude off the street come right up to your window of your car? Like, who looked like that in his pitch black? The fuck? And he's sitting on my porch? And this cunt laughs and lets him in. And they stayed all night there. Action was taken on that, apparently. The feds immediately went to those two cops. By the way, they parked their dispatch car nowhere near my house. I couldn't tell you where they parked the car. I think it was up fucking 16th somewhere. They parked their car so far away from this residence and they footed it here. They walked it here for a distance. What's up with that? All right. I'm up to half an hour. I hope the guy, someone watches this. Maybe you out. Some of the FBI might. I know Poppy's around. Poppy General. But I want this to be heard for other people too, okay? I I'm, I just thank you enough for listening to me chat in here. It means everything to me. And I hope it was good for you too. Um, I would like to do some of this stuff after Philly. I realized, Heidi, it might be set part of the plan here for you to actually talk to people. You might be more of a public person than you realize. Public talk, to, like talk to people than I realize because I'm, I'm game for it. There was such nice people there. I, I'll chit chat with anybody and you'll find that I'm, I, will, I ain't that bad. No. So I don't know. This is going on a long time. All right. God bless America. Say goodbye.